65 year old man is murdered in Trenton tonight. More than a month later, police have a person of interest in the case. We're also learning more about the victim who had been caring for his elderly mother at the time. Fox 2's Taryn Asher live now at the Wayne County Jail with the latest Taryn. Now, Hugh and Monica and that person of interest now sitting in that Wayne County Jail tonight. He's a 35-year-old man from Detroit, and it's not the first time he's been lodged here. He has a long criminal history and may soon be facing charges for the murder of 65-year-old George Height. I hope they arrest whoever did it, and I hope they rot in jail. That's where they deserve to be. This man, Aaron Sidney Marshall of Detroit, has been arrested in connection to the murder of 65-year-old George Height. Charged Tuesday with lying to a peace officer during a violent crime investigation and habitual offender, police in Trenton consider the 35-year-old a person of interest in the city's first homicide in a decade. Information Heights niece Sharon Fox says the family has desperately been waiting for. I'm glad they're getting closer. I'm, I'm hoping the family can finally get a little bit of peace. On March 11th, Height was found strangled to death inside his Trenton condo he shared with his elderly mother. Police reluctant to connect all of the dots for us as they work to put their case together. But say Height met Marshall, an ex-con, at the casino. He went there, you know, for fun. That's after he retired, you know, from Great Lakes Steel. He went there once a month to get out, just get away. Police believe there are more people involved, but the relationship Height made with Marshall at the casino cost him his life. There was no forced entry into the condo, which means Height let his killers in. There, they strangled him with a belt and left him for dead. Must have been something, that's what I thought in the original was that happens. He must have won and somebody followed him home instead of just asking for the money. Mm -hmm kills them for nothing. A motive is still unclear, but police believe women may also be involved. Height's elderly mother, who suffers from Alzheimer's, was there at the time, and police believe was with her dead son inside their condo four to five days before a concerned relative asked police to make a welfare check, and officers discovered the body of the beloved Little League umpire. It's very sad, but I'm very glad the Trenton police didn't give up. You know, I'm really glad, and I hope they catch everyone who's involved. Well, Sharon Fox says she has still not been able to see her grandmother, George Heights' mother. He, she wasn't even able to go to the funeral uh, for her son. The police have put her in a secure location in hiding, really, and that uh, she won't be able to come out and no one will be able to see her until everybody in this case is arrested because, really, she was there. Even though she has Alzheimer's, it wasn't clear how much she might have known or seen from that night. We're live in Detroit this evening. Tara Nasher, Fox 2 News. Well, Tara, now the police have a person of interest in the case, Aaron Marshall, does anyone in the victim's family know who this man is? You know, we showed the picture, and Sharon says no, that he doesn't even look slightly familiar. But, you know, I do want to add the police are looking for other people connected to this case. So if anybody has any information, they are asked to call Crime Stoppers or Trenton Police. They are still actively working to put this all together. Hugh, back to you. All right, Taryn, thank you.